Yo, know, look at this picture of Kellen. <laughs> if you guys are not already, go subscribe to Kellen because his videos are actually really cool. And if you're not following him on Instagram, make sure to go follow him. It's Kellen the Great on Instagram. But in today's video, I'm answering your guys' questions. I'm probably gonna look at my YouTube channel and look at the comments. I've read a few of them and I really just wanna answer your guys' questions and thoughts towards me starting a second set of dreadlocks and my thoughts towards it and answering basically everything that you guys have been asking. Before I get into it, I wanna like give a shout out to these chips because these are my favorite chips, completely random, but these are the salt and pepper. I don't even know what they're called. Salt and pepper, are they Lay's? These are the bomb.com. It's like salt and cracked black pepper. Anyway, let's get straight into this. But I feel like the most frequently asked question is, am I gonna keep these? Someone said, are you gonna have dreads again? Someone said, I think you need to just cut everything and start over again. What do you guys think? Comment down below if I should do that. Someone said I should just leave my dreads alone. And I have an answer for that as well. Someone said, Gunther, get your dreads back. Someone said, why do you sound so depressed? Someone answered that though and said, yo, he's chilling. He's living life. That's a good answer. Someone said I'm underrated. They said, no offense. I don't take offense to that. They said, people sleep on you. Hey, wake up. But yeah, scrolling through all these comments, the number one thing that I see mostly is, are you keeping them? Am I keeping the dreadlocks? Am I gonna lock them permanently? A lot of people said, hey, if you're gonna keep the dreadlocks, just go ahead and put a crochet needle to it and instantly lock them up. And I could do that if I really wanted to. But I've mentioned in these videos that I really want to experience this whole process of this completely different method with twisting with gel. And a lot of people get onto me for twisting my hair too much or retwisting it all the time. And this is what comes with twisting with gel, especially with my hair type. I have a 3B or 3C hair type, and it takes a lot of maintenance to do my hair or keep it the way that I want it to look. And maintenance is up to the person. So I can't tell you you maintain your hair too much or don't maintain it enough. It all comes down to what the person really feels and thinks about their own hair. So me, I really want the maintained look right now and I'm maintaining it a bunch. And right now so far I've done five retwists, one of them being the initial twist. So I would just say four retwists, one initial twist. And it's all personal preference. As long as I'm not putting tension on my scalp, not using a bunch of product, which I've only actually used product once out of this whole time. The rest I've just done a, a dry retwist. And by dry, I'm not meaning not wet. I'm talking about not using any product, so a no product retwist. So like I said, a lot of people are getting onto me for retwisting too much. But in reality, if I'm not, if I'm not putting a lot of tension on the scalp, there's no damage being made. As long as you don't put a lot of tension on your scalp, you're gonna be fine. There's people out there that will do one single retwist, but put so much tension on the scalp that it's damaging to their scalp and that can result in traction alopecia, which is where the follicle will basically get choked out of your scalp and that hair is basically gone, it's hair loss. So with me, I'm just lightly retwisting it, putting in the clips, and if you watch any of my retwisting videos, I literally do not do much to my hair. I'm close to an entire month of having these in and they're going really well. Today I actually got my hair wet, I actually had to wash it. I washed it without any clips, I washed it without a hair tie, and I literally just paid attention to just washing it and making sure that the sections were still there and I'm telling you like I really went in and none of them fell out so this answers that question of why are you washing your hair this early why are you doing an ACV rinse is damaging your hair first off an ACV rinse does not damage your hair no matter what I don't know where people got that from and other people said hey man you're not supposed to wash your hair for two months you have to not wash it for two months believe it or not that was something that I told my subscribers not too long ago so the word just got around and people are now telling me and it really comes down to what you prefer i don't want my scalp to be itching and i don't want to put myself through what i put myself through the first time because i have so much more knowledge on how to actually get and start dreadlocks so that does answer everyone's concerns about me not waiting to wash my hair or me doing an acv rinse because first off it is not damaging to the hair to do an acv rinse all it does is brings your scalp back to where it's supposed to be and it really just takes all that buildup. so it's really helping your hair versus damaging it and it all comes down to how you maintain it while you're doing that whole process so when it came to the acv rinse when it came to washing my hair when it came to retwisting i was taking my time and being very careful with everything that i did and a lot of these comments may be coming from people that don't know that i had dreadlock before and i completely understand if you don't know that much or you know a certain way to do certain things then you're going to tell me hey that's the wrong way but with dreadlocks there's not really a wrong or right way there's so many different methods there's so many different ways to actually get them there's many ways to maintain them and everybody has their own way of doing things. Like me the first time, I started out with towel rub, eventually went to crochet hooking and then went to twisting with gel 
and then did all these other methods and maintenance on my hair to get my hair the way that it looked. And I thought it looked really great. And eventually started combining dreadlocks with using rubber bands. And there's so many different things that I did with it. This time I'm just doing one single thing and that's twisting with gel. And I'm not putting a bunch of tension on the scalp like I said. I really don't feel like I'm overdoing anything because to be honest with you, if I would have not washed my hair already, if I not done all the retwists, my dreadlocks would not even be here right now. I can tell you that for a fact. I think the biggest thing is I would just be irritated with my scalp um, not being washed all the time. But after washing my hair today, I look at it and it just keeps on looking better and better. And washing your hair, believe it or not, speeds up the process because I'm going to break it down to you really quickly. When you wash your hair, it dries the hair out and you want to dry the hair out. Dry hair locks the best. Oily hair does not. If you do not wash your hair for a long period of time, your scalp will produce oils and it overproduces oils, especially if you're not used to not washing your hair for a long amount of time. Say you wash your hair regularly twice a week, maybe three times a week. If you stop and don't wash your hair for an entire month, your scalp is going to overproduce oils, which is going to get into your hair, which is eventually going to make your hair so slippery and oily to where it can't even lock up. So that's a myth, but at the same time it works. But it's one of those things to where you really have to know the difference and how to maintain it either way, because it works either way. It, like I said, it's personal preference, whether you don't want to wash your hair for two months or if you wash it, you know, twice a week. And so far I have been washing my hair twice a week and it's completely the same. It's what I've found actually washing my hair is what washing your hair does. Like I said, dries it out. Now I, do, now I wouldn't recommend conditioning your hair. That's a whole different story. So don't condition your hair unless you want to. It's all personal preference, like I said, but I personally would not condition my hair in the beginning stages, probably not for an entire year. Now you can, it's possible, but what conditioner does is it makes your hair soft and loose and gives it some moisture, which you don't really want too much moisture in your hair, like I'm saying, because dry hair locks the best. Especially if your hair is more curly or more kinky, it holds oils a whole lot better. So you wanna wash your hair really good. And this is what's really gonna take your dreadlocks to the next level and lock them even quicker than before. So that's everything behind why I wash my hair now versus me waiting two months the first time I started my dreadlocks. So it's really cool uh, being able to be the viewers that watched me back then and then are still watching me now and see the two differences, especially me living through it. Seeing what I put myself through three years ago versus how I'm handling things now, it just makes life a whole lot easier for me not to worry too much about what my hair is looking like but at the same time, being able to maintain it the whole time with me doing all this extra stuff like retwist and washing my hair. So that hopefully that answers everything as far as the concerns with washing my hair and doing the ACV rinse and doing all these retwists. I think that definitely answers those questions, but I completely understand where you guys are coming from and it, it all depends on what you are trying to accomplish. Now, I guess this is the biggest part and why you guys clicked on this video is, am I going to keep this set of dreadlocks. Now, another question that you guys have brought up in the comment section is, I thought you were getting freeform dreadlocks the next time you get them. That's a great question. And I guess me answering this next question, which is, am I gonna keep these dreadlocks will answer that question as a whole. So am I keeping this set? I'm giving myself another couple weeks to see what I really think of these. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the 100% truth. When I started these out, I was just gonna do a little series and kind of just see how it felt to do twisting with gel and that's kind of on the trail that i'm on is really just trying this out to see how it feels how it looks and how i personally look with dreadlocks especially starting with longer hair because it is different if you start with shorter hair versus longer hair because if you start with long hair it's going to be immature even when it's long versus if you start with short hair it'll be immature when it's short it'll mature up and then you have mature long dreadlocks. So starting out, I did not want to keep them. I just wanted to try them out with the twisting with gel method and stick with it. And I wanted to try it out for a little bit. And then I did it and then I was like, okay, it looks cool. I'm gonna make another couple videos, you know. And as I'm doing it, I wake up every morning and I'm like, dang, these are looking really good. And it reminds me how my dreadlocks looked and um, I just really like the way they look. And even today after showering, because uh, even going into showering, I almost like was like, you know, I'm just going to wash this out because me and Kellen did a video like I showed you on that picture of us dyeing our hair. I think it was white. And after doing it, I'm like, oh, my goodness, I am about to wash this out. And through the whole thought process, I was like, maybe I might have to wash out these starter locks. And I was at the point to where I was like, I kind of want to keep these. So at the beginning, straight up, I was just like, you know, what? I'll make a couple videos showing people how to start with twisting the gel. And that's the whole purpose of this channel is really to show you guys how to do these things. 
and the easiest way and the most efficient way. And then like I said, over the time, after washing the hair, seeing that it stays in, and then after doing the retwist, and I'm like, dang, this looks really good. So now I'm really on the side of, yo, I should probably keep these. And then at the same time, it's like, man, I kind of want to just, you know, go the freeform route, but I don't want to semi freeform. Semi freeform is, I would call a form of freeform, which freeform is basically not doing anything to your hair besides washing it. So I was like, you know, I can semi freeform out of these, just, you know, allow them to lock up. Don't do any more retwists. Don't use any more locking gel or any products. Just wash my hair. So that was like, okay, I can do that. And then I was like, you know what? I really want to go for the look, the complete freeform look. So this is what's going to really answer both of these questions and the next dreadlock hairstyle i'm going to do is freeform dreadlocks and i've had that set in my mind ever since you know i've had my first set of dreadlocks i was like you know what the next set i get is going to be completely freeform because towards the end of my first set of dreadlocks i was i made the decision already that i was going to get freeform dreadlocks next before i went with the freeform route i wanted to try twisting with gel and i didn't want to keep these in because i knew personally I didn't really want to go with the really, you know, uniform or uh, maintained dreadlocks look, like how these will look after they lock up. I really didn't want to go with that. I wanted to go with the freeform look because they're very unique. I love the way they look. I like how everyone's are different, and I really want to see how my hair turns out with going freeform. See how the Congos look, and if there's any really thick ones, really skinny ones. And I think that's gonna look really cool, especially now that I have the tapered hairline. I think a tapered hairline and a high top fade with freeform locks just look really good. And there's so much that I would like to do with freeform locks. So this answering that question, am I keeping these in? Unfortunately, no, I'm not. But the cool thing is, is that when I take these out, I'm most likely going to be starting my freeform dreadlock journey. So that's a really cool announcement to you guys that yeah, I've already told you guys, but I'm saying that that journey may start sooner than later. And I was gonna wait a little longer, which I'm still gonna wait, but I do wanna hear your guys' thoughts. Are you excited about this? Um, hopefully you're not bummed on me taking these out, but I'm gonna keep these in for a little bit longer to show you guys the whole process. And you know, right before they start butting up and locking up, um, I'm gonna let these go as far as they possibly can without having to you know, comb these out at the very end. But yeah, unfortunately I am gonna be taking these out, but don't hate me because I am gonna be doing freeform drill locks, what I'm really excited about, and I'm super stoked on that. There's just so much that I'm really looking forward to. And I'm really just figuring out what I wanna do next without doing a permanent decision, kind of just seeing how things look. And this is really important, especially if you're choosing a hairstyle for yourself to kind of just represent yourself because your hair is almost a representation of yourself and who you are. It's really a, an expression of who you are. It's like an art piece. And I really wanna just make sure that I make the right decision as far as what my mindset is and something that I can stick with for a really long time. And I think it's gonna be really something awesome when I start that whole journey. And this is actually a really awesome journey that I've really been enjoying. You know, being this far into it, I'm starting to realize, you know what, I don't want the really maintained look. And I'm glad I'm realizing that because I'm, I was torn between the two, but me realizing that number one thing helps me to be like, all right, I'm gonna stick with freeform when I get out of these. And like I said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna semi freeform straight out of these because then they'd be, me forming them but i want it to form itself so i'm gonna have to take these out in order to freeform comment down below what you really want to see i'll definitely take your comments into consideration and i really do read through all the comments a lot of people don't think i do but i i love to read your guys's comments and i love the positivity and i love all that stuff and there's some negative comments on there as well but and the negative comments help me out too believe it or not they help me to become stronger criticism does help out a whole bunch as well because it really puts things in perspective and i really get to sit back and think are these people just crazy or are they onto something and i really need to change some things as far as what i'm doing so it helps out a whole bunch i love seeing your comments but yeah i'm really excited about the journey hopefully you guys are excited as me and this is the excitement that I had when I started combing out my dreadlocks. This is the excitement that I had when I started my dreadlocks for the first time. And that's that good feeling that I know it's like, all right, this is what we're going to do. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to handle it. But yeah, guys, many more videos on this set of dreads. This will definitely help you guys out because if you do everything that I'm doing, it really will get you what you want when it comes to, you know, starting dreadlocks with twisting with gel. So guys, hopefully this video answered a big question for you guys. If it did, please let me know in the comment section. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new because there's gonna be so much coming in the future. Please don't forget to go check out The Great Family Channel. Link to that is gonna be down below. Also, greatlocks.com has everything you need for your hair, your dreadlocks, or anything else. 
and it has a bunch of tutorials on there that'll help you guys out as well. And don't forget to go check out Kellen's channel as well because he's making some really awesome videos. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.